Greetings and welcome back to Cosmeteer. I'm Catherine of Sky and I should be recording Factorio right now, but I'm not. Um, yeah, I figured out how to use the other mode, this um, supply chain mode, and I hate the interface again. Look at this. Does it say anything for you? It doesn't say anything for me. You have to right click stuff together. Instead of grouping like this, you need to right click, okay? And so what is a good supply chain would be, you know, this one, uh, oops, yep, this one, hello, this one, click it, then right click that one, okay? But we need to supply this, so then we click this one and supply there. But the problem is, is because I want all of them to be fluid, I would have to connect every single one to every single one, like this one to that one, this, this, this one to that one, this one to that one, this one to that one. And it's so much freaking busy work. I, I wish you could just like, can you select multiple? Oh, you can. Okay. Maybe it's better than I thought. Okay. Let's try this. Let's, can we reset this? Is there a reset? You can't reset. Okay. That's great. Okay. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to try this. Let's do the important things first. Also, the ones, the other thing that is very important um, is that you have to also designate power, where power goes to from each reactor, right? And the hard part with that is like, uh, well, you know, what if that reactor is um, runs out of power? You know, that's a problem. So I think we're not going to do this. We're going to just turn it off and just go with the current annoying set of circumstances here. Um, but yeah, there's that. So that's how that works. It's horribly micromanagey. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. I really don't know what to do about it. So anyway, uh, let's see. We have a little bit of steel, a tiny bit. Yep. So we're going to make, um, let's cover these engines a little bit better. No, not this. Come on. Come on, brain. You can do this. It is fine. You will be fine. Like that. Like make engine covers. Like this kind of thing. I think that's good. I should have done that symmetrically. Wait, what? Why is this not doing it symmetrically? Eh? Okay. Make it so. All right. So... Right. That's what we have there. Um, we're kind of waiting on materials for this, the peccadillo. Remember, we needed 1,308 of the steel things. Um, coils. Yeah, we need some coils as well, but those can also be bought um, or they can just be made. You know, what? I could turn off the hyper coil making factory right now. Let's go ahead and turn that off right now so that we can collect regular coils for this. Then we can always make them later as well. Okay, so let's go. We were still flying around this area. I apologize for the uh, interruption earlier, but when you have appointments, you gotta, you know, gotta do your appointments. Oh, here's a, um, yep, asteroid with iron. That other ship just gets into a conniption fit there. That's no good. I kind of wish you could select both ships and have the astronauts bring it back to the other ship, uh, kind of making more use of the workforce, but I guess we can't. We also need to replenish the crew because we did send six people over to the Peccadillo to do stuff. Oh, we have, oh, we have to wait a bit while these things get processed into steel. Oh, wow. Okay. Don't, don't panic ship. Stop it. Okay. Uh. Yep. Nice. Keep on gathering, folks. All right. There we are. I think that's probably the last of it. Um, let's go to a copper asteroid next. All right. Let's let that play out. Copper ones are much more sparse in their amounts of material, unfortunately. But it's just part of the game, so you don't have way too much copper. Oh my god, this is driving me nuts. I could put it behind me, maybe. There we 
go. Okay. Coils now getting made. We're kind of at the edge here. That's good. There we go. Okay, there's one on the edge as well. Okay, there we go. Nice. Now we're getting all those needed coils for the upgrades. Oops. Eh. Careful. Careful. We also can get some more iron. Let's get some here. Oops, let's face the ship there. Oh, this is going to be tasty iron. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, where are we going next? Okay, people are all back on board. Let's see, there's some iron over here. Are we... I think we're capped on iron. Let's check this out and go into this, this mode here. Yep, it looks like we probably are capped on steel, so I'm going to go ahead and designate more uh, bins for steel. There we go. And so they'll make more, 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 more. Oops, oh, let's get out of here. Okay, there we go. And grab this asteroid full of iron. Because we want to make the other ship, remember? So that's important. I think we needed 190 coils. Is that correct? I don't know. We'll find out. Let's get some more copper. Uh, where did we do over here? No, we're good over there. It's a lot of iron down here. I'm trying to go over the edge because we know that they can be on the very, very edge of the asteroid field as well. Okay, this is where we came in. So let's go on a tighter circle now through the asteroid field. There's some iron here. Let's get that. Nice. Okay, we still need enough to make the thing. Not much copper there, alas. Okay. Big, big asteroids with nothing in them. Yay. All right, let's get this one. I saw some copper up there as well. Nice. This is going to be great. This is a lot of iron. We're not going to be able to get it all in one go, I don't think. But let's see. Can we get the other ship fixed? Hello. Yes, we can. Beautiful make it so so this is going to increase the firepower massively as well as the survivability we need wow 26 crew to run this it's a small ship but 26 crew needed that's crazy man dang all right so well yeah 26 crew wow dang okay but let's we need to go to a um a facility wait not you not you no no F1, grab, there we go, G for grab, grab all the resources, just kind of waiting for it to, to come down, make all the steel you can as fast as possible, now it's going a little bit slower because it's not with the other factory machines which give it a bonus, there we go, I guess I could always have a little bit of storage space on the other ship if I wanted to. And just hold stuff for later. Though it does process pretty quickly, I have to say. Pretty quickly indeed. Yeah, just smush all those rocks out of there. Smush, smush. Okay, let's see. More. 
More, 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 more. Okay, I think that's it. All right, and we have plenty of stuff and things. Let's keep on going. Just explore this part here. So we haven't gotten all of the iron. We just have gotten all of the copper. Okay, there we go. Or we're gonna get all the copper. So we're not quite done yet, but yeah. Just wanna make those coils. Good stuff. I wanna look at the profit on coils as well. Wow, that other ship looks really big. No, it's it's much smaller than the main ship. Okay, I was just like, ha, huh, that looks enormous. Okay, but it's not. All right, and an iron asteroid, another one. Hooray. Yeah. Whoa, no, 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 no. There we go. Eventually, or soon maybe, I want to get a bunch of tiny ships like this that are um, have a lot of lasers, a lot of firepower, so we can just, you know, kill enemies pretty quickly. I would like to do some of that killing of enemies right now, actually, after we finish this asteroid field. I kind of want to just finish what we're doing, and then we can... Um... Oh, there's more of this. More iron. Cat is running wild amongst my socks. The ones that are on my feet. It's a big iron asteroid. Hopefully we can just process it quick. So it looks like we've allocated 1600 for steel. Seems good. Yeah, too bad there's not a lot of copper around here. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. We'll we'll get through it. Oh wow, it's just charging up there. Wow, those numbers. Holy fuzzy cats. This is like almost time for a redesign, you know? Add more stuff. Oh no, G, please. G. No. Ship. G. Yeah, because it's it's getting up there. We may have run out of room with this. And we already have a bunch of steel plates on the ship. I guess we can uh, put some more steel plating here. Use up some of that iron. Yep, there we go. That used up a chunk. And it's a good investment. You never can have too much uh, armor, it feels like. Though I guess it changes the mass of the ship somewhat. Okay, so that's processing. I'm, I need to really move those factories so that they're together. That would be a good thing. You know what? Let's let's look at that right now because we have enough steel and stuff to do it. So what I'm thinking about doing, let's turn this off of that. What I want to do is move these two units out. Put them here. Okay. And then get these units downward. Uh... At least move them slightly. Put them down here so that they are touching the other factory. Then get these again. Control X. And then that's fine where they can cross in a corridor here. I think that's going to be a better thing. It's only costing me two thingies. Also, one of the things that I wanted to look at is the there's a setting for placing doors automatically. I think I hate where it places doors. I think I really don't like that, so we're going to turn that off um, because it always gives me very strange things. Like, I hate where it puts doors, so let's take this off. We're going to put doors here and then here. And then these are fine, I think, uh, except there's way too many doors on this thing. All right, make it so. All right, and that was very cheap. We can just rearrange at will. All right, there we go. And adding more steel. Good, good, good. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that's the last of it. We'll do one more check and make sure. Okay. There we are. 
Okay, so I think we've kind of covered the entire asteroid field. I'll go ahead and make a note here. We'll put it at the bottom left corner like we did the other one. Um, no CU. Yep. Or I don't know, we should put CU done or something. Actually, ooh, 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 hold on. Iron! Do more iron for sure. Wow, so much space for for steel. We might could try making another ship like this. I don't know how this does in battle, but it looks like it could be pretty good. We just need more people to man it. I think we definitely need to pick up people before we actually go into battle with this ship, I feel. Okay, let's do that. Let's um let's go to a space station first. We'll go to this one. Oh no, we'll go to this one actually. I'm gonna skip. Actually, we can go. Mm, yeah, this one doesn't have the star on it, so I think that means we would be safe. I kind of want to put some engines on this thing, more engines, because uh, it's really slow right now. It's really, really slow. So maybe an engine thing in the back. Let's see, lots of iron here. Mm, sulfur, sulfur, copper. I mind going for a copper one, that's for sure. Let's go. Get us some copper. Uh, here. So I don't know if I should make this ship a, um, a factory ship, or should I make this the tank ship, or should I make it something else ship? I'm not actually sure right now what I should make this ship. It's, it's seeming to do, like, double duty on everything. Um, so that's kind of attractive, that, that whole thing. Let's just go around the top side of this, trying to find some, uh, oh, I want to turn off hyper coils, I think, because I feel like we have too many. So turn you off. Okay. I was surprised. I kind of want more coils in case we're going to build stuff. I'm just going to look for some copper here. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Nice. Let's see, we can mark this one. TR. Yes, good. Um, there we go. There we are. Nice. Yeah, because if we if we build something now, uh, like another ship, maybe it's going to cost us a lot of copper, copper coils. But we have a lot of both, which is great. We have a lot of we're going to have a lot of coils. We're going to have a lot of hyper coils. So that's really going to put us in good standing. Maybe we can buy another ship while we're there. I'm kind of excited about that prospect, buying another like mini ship. Um, there we go. We can buy you. Buy lots and lots of iron. Because I could put another three... Like, what I could do is just grab this section here. And then... Copy it. Paste it. And just do that. Mm-hmm. And let's see, did it keep... Yeah, I kept the steel uh, imperatives there. Uh, in fact, maybe one of them I will allocate for not steel, as in any kind of, uh, hello? There we go. Like for more iron, for example. Nice. Okay, steel is now going up, or was going up. This is a big asteroid full of stuff, oh my god. 
But yeah, maybe I need to allocate one of these other thingies for... Um, for iron. Raw iron. Yeah, I'm hoping um, that we get more fluid storage. Uh, that would be so nice. And just be able to like set limits of like, okay, I want to have maximum 1400 iron plates and just like, it can go anywhere in storage. I don't care where it goes, but it's going to be able to use the space that say the iron is giving up for that. But it would also be nice to have like a dedicated factory ship that could pick up everything. Kind of really thinking about that like we had in the last series. That was kind of cool. And this ship could be just like maybe we put a rail gun or something on this ship. Something cool like that. Something really uh, powerful. It's funny when like a lot of people, um, there were, well, not a lot of people, but several people criticized me for, oh my God, with the railgun, you're getting too close. And no, I was getting as close as the game was telling me to get because all I did was choose a target and the ship goes automatically toward that target. So I have really no control, especially since I only want the railgun to fire when it has a target, like when I choose a specific spot on the ship to kill. Um, because I don't want it to fire at will. That's bad. That's really bad. Or fire when something's in range, because then you get this situation where the first shot might just graze the thing as you're turning around to face it. I've had that multiple times when I was practicing, so that is not a good solution at all. And, um, you, you, you fire when, when you get there and you have no control of if your ship goes closer or not. So... Um, I think people who are saying that probably have never played the game, I would guess, um, because they don't know how the game works. They have no clue how the game works. So please get a clue how the game works. If you're gonna if you're gonna try to offer advice, please actually play the game uh, because otherwise you have you really don't know what you're talking about. And I say that with the kindest of meanings um, because people, I've, I've noticed that a lot of people speak with authority like, well, you need to do this. No, 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 no. You don't actually know what you're talking about. And, um, you know, you're trying to fool me with, with like the thing, like you, you say, ba basically you think you've watched a lot of YouTube videos and you, you know how it works, but no, you don't. No, you don't. So I would appreciate, you know, if you don't know, then just ask. Maybe you can say, hey, Catherine, is this a possibility instead of you're doing it wrong? That, that whole thing just really is like, really, you know, are you an adult? Do you communicate with people actually? Is that a thing you do at all? <laughs> it's so strange to be really strange. I wonder why the copper is not like making more. Oh, probably we're out of space. Okay. So coils, let's put the coils in here. There we go. It's a little bit of space. Uh, did we get everything here? I think so. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to that space station because I feel like, uh, yeah, we're close now. That's nice. But yeah, sometimes people comment with the weirdest things and you know they have no clue. You know that they're like either watching a lot of YouTube or it's just whatever because like things they say make zero sense. Absolutely zero sense. It's very funny sometimes. Funny in quotation marks, I say, because... I don't think it's funny at all, but yeah. Anyway, it's okay. It's all good. I just tell them, please play the game. Get a clue before you make these kind of comments. <laughs> so, yep. Okay, uranium and steel delivery. How much is it? 1600? Nah. Steel? Yeah, we can do 80 steel. Okay. 80 steel. I can do that. Easy peasy. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do this first. And then we'll figure out... Um, oh yes, we need more people. That's good. The other ship also needs more people. So let's hail them here on the other ship. And get as many people as we can. Eight people. There's not a lot of people at this station. So we probably need to go 
to the other stations real quick and see if we can get more people. So let's see. Uh, what else do we want to do here? We can... And actually, if we can't hire more people here, then I kind of want to maybe go to another station because we won't be able to build another ship yet if we don't have stuff. Um, let's see. There is... Hmm... Uh, no, no, no. I need to remove these hotkeys. They drive me crazy. Um, I kind of... Let me think about this real quick. Let me just do blueprint building. Where's our reactor? There's a reactor there. But I feel like we need a big reactor and some thrusters out in the back here. So let's do that. Let's go and call up the station here. Um, I want to see... Okay, we can buy this. Nice. Can we buy any processors? Yes. Do I want that many? I can get five. Okay, and then what else? Okay, heavy laser blaster. That seems cool. The ion beam emitter is very cool. I mean, we might do that for the little ones. I don't know. Cannons, rail gun. Arr, that's nice. Uh, the flak battery could be very cool too, but I think I want... Maybe I'll make this the rail gun. Let's get the rail gun. And then what else can we get? I did want to get the large, this one, 18,000. Wow, that's expensive. Expensive. And we can't get the other factories either. All right, well, that's okay. We're, we're good. We can uh, do the things. Tritanium is what it's called, that stuff. Okay, do we want to sell anything? Could sell some of these. Let's sell until we have 184. Sure, that's 18,000. That's a lot of money. Lots of money. Okay, so these coils are worth 50 and those are 150. Okay, so coils are two. So it's 100 plus half a coal, half a, half a copper. So 150, no, 120 it costs. So we get, well, according to the other prices, we get 30, 30 credits more each. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay, so I'm going to take the ships and we're going to go to another space station. Um, is there anything to do? I don't think so. I think we just have the pirate bases left, really. Um, there's four signals out here, but they probably are kind of dangerous, I would say. All right, let's just go. Let's go to the other stations and basically just pick up all the crew there. Yeah, there are several signals on the map, but they are, yeah, dangerous, really dangerous. This one has two plus enemies. We possibly could get that one, but also this ship is so slow. Let's see. Can I make it better? Let's go ahead and unpause it here. Let's see. How much would it cost to build a reactor here and put in the thrusters next to it? to make this ship a lot faster. Large thrusters or there's a huge thruster as well. We can do three here though. That's a lot. Um, oh wait, no, we don't want to do that. We want to do an engine room as well. This is not far enough, not far enough. Engine room. Yes, this is what we want actually. Um, that one there, that one that one there and we can put that one a little bit off center that's okay 50 50 50 okay and we need 24 hmm we need to kill some ships for that kind of stuff okay so let's go ahead and just put in the armor extra happy thingies we might get the huge thrusters instead um let's put in a door here uh, and that's it yeah, that would really be nice, but I think we don't have the means to do that right now. All right, we are almost to the station. I'm going to just troll these stations for a bit. We need to go through an asteroid patch as well to get some Hyperium, unless we see some along the way. Um, we also need... To, oh, that's another thing we need to do, is scrap these plans and put in a hyperdrive. Unless I can find a way of just doing it. Um, the peccadillo, let's see, you, um, let's see, 
Oh, what is that? Oh, we hit the station. Haha! <laughs> we hit the station. Okay, so let's get the hyperdrive in here. Uh, we don't have it, actually. We need to buy it. Okay, so let's contact the station. We'll go ahead and get as many, um... Try steel, tritanium. Do we have any? No, not on this ship anyway. Let's see. Let's hire Max. Okay. Very good, very good. Um, they have nothing at this whole place. Wait. Oh, they, yeah, we can't trade because this place has no stuff. Okay, unlock the hyperdrive. This one does have room. Let's go and see what we can do here with stuff. Uh, I don't think we have Tritanium. No, we don't. Um, yeah, ammo we can sell for sure. But the rest we can keep. Diamonds. I might buy some diamonds. It's expensive, but yeah, we need it. We want it. We can do it. We can always sell some of our wonderful coils to make up for stuff. Just have a little bit of money. That's good. Okay, unpause. Yeah, we need the diamonds because those are really good to have. All right, so we've gotten all the crew from those places. Let's just go to this other station real quick. So what we need to do is, let's see, F2. Let's look at this ship first and we'll add the small hyperdrive. Hmm. Maybe I just put it on the corner here. Uh, like this. And then add corridor there. Uh, or not that far. Let's see, armor. And we'll add a door. Hooray. Make it so. Okay. That's just fine. And then we go to... Oh! We probably need a little bit of storage on this ship because we need the Hyperium. I forgot about that. So we'll add a tiny bit of storage here, maybe right there. And armor, of course. And door, of course. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, we need to go here and then we figure out where we're going to go from there. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, let's go. Our main ship also needs a hyperdrive. Oh boy, this is going to be an expensive jump, I think. I think. Oh, we can put one here. Let's see. Hyperdrive. Oh, also, let's cancel the blueprint actions. Yes. Let's put one here. And let's get a door. Okay, and then... Let's see, 22%. We probably could use one down here somewhere. Um, actually in the middle seems good. Could put one here. That would work. Yep, that works. Okay, cool. Just get rid of that. I don't know what happened to that stuff. <laughs> I might have been like thrown out as detritus. Whoops, whoopsies. Okay, well it's better efficient. It's more efficient now. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So let's see. How many people do we have on this ship? We are actually good. We have suggested 50. We have 48 beds. We're actually lacking beds. How are we doing on this ship? Um, hello? You guys are at... Okay, 29 of 34. So we could, we could possibly just chuck them on that ship until we get the next ships on. And that would be just fine. So let's go F2, hail the ship. Okay, gold. Five gold for 990. No. Oh, we can hire many people here. Oh dear. Okay, I think it's time for our main ship to add some crew quarters. Hooray! All right. We are going to add... We are going to add, let's just go into blueprint mode for a second here. I kind of want to move some stuff downward here. Let me just do a, 
We want to do selection here of this section ish, like that. And then control X and move it down. We just want a one tile corridor there. Or maybe two. Two is fine. There's no reason not to have two. Um, except for, let's see, we want to move the middle section up, though. Okay, and then let's get this section to be a corridor so it's easier to visualize for us here. Okay, so we're going to do our doors here, or our uh, moving walkways. These are going to help people walk better. So let's do some quarters here. Alright, and that's going to, that should be enough for us for now. Let's do a little bit of armor as well. And there we go. That's fine. Okay. Um, and I think we just need doors and then we're good. So is that good? Yeah, these guys can come in here from these quarters there. Make it so. Okay. So that means we can we can buy more uh, more crew. Okay. Fantastic. Higher max. That's all of them. We're done. Yay. We've, we've recruited every single person in the sector. Okay. So now we want to go to where, um, visit Profeo, which is two to four. I think we should go there. Okay. Profeo. Well, first we need to go to that area. But let's see what that looks like. Profeo. Oh, it's down there. Okay. So let's find the hyper thingy thingy that goes there. Mm. Profeo is up there. Okay. So it's not too far away. That's good. That's good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Stop. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We left without our crew. This is not good. Okay. Please, please come to me. You won't die if you just come to me. It's fine. Oh, we saved them. Woo! It didn't give me the warning. Or it didn't say anything. That was weird. That was weird. What we're looking for now is some Hyperium. All right. But yeah, I'd love to get some more engines to make this thing a little bit more maneuverable. Did I already get... No, there's some Hyperium. Okay. Also, after talking to Tony, he told me about where you can do the formation thing. It's up here. It's this non-button button. I didn't even see this arrow. It's like completely opposite to the others. So you can actually save this as like formation A. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to formation A. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next area. Let's see. Come on. Let's get through here. Get through it. Um, Dang, I wish I had thought about this Hyperion when we were in the other area. That would have been a little bit more handy. Slightly more handy. All right, so did the other ship get... They got 11, okay. I don't know how much they need to jump, but we'll find out. We'll figure it out. Definitely not going <laughs> to ignore the copper. There we go. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's go. There's more Hyperium. I think the big ship is going to need a ton. Uh, looks like big ship has 58. The other ship has 15. Okay, let's give some more to the small ship. We can always trade it, right? That's that's always an option. Oh, here we go. Nice. Okay, so let's just do this. And then we will get... Thank you, autosave. 
Okay, um, both of them, and then G, both of them. Okay, they're both getting some this time. All right, 61, 62. This one has 37. I think that should be enough to jump. Pretty sure, maybe, I think. Yep. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is we'll set this ship on a course. Is there any more? <laughs> any last little bits here? Hello? We can get that iron. Iron, hooray. Iron is always nice. You can always use steel. Always use some steel. Yep, good stuff. Very tasty nice. All right, hello. Okay, wow. Oh my god, there's more. Oh, I have to go there. I have to. I have to. God. Desperation from the asteroids. Whoa. Wow. Okay, there we go. Nice. Anyway, I think that's going to be enough Hyperium for both ships to make it. They can trade back and forth if there's a little bit of a discrepancy. I think the other one, let's see, ship two, the Peccadillo is 42% um, efficiency. But I don't know what that means in terms of cost, you know, of like actually get, oh, no, 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 that's not what we want. Okay, you go here to copper and then let's go and connect these and let's see this button work, A. There we go. Oh, it does work. Nice. Okay. Oh, they both went and got it. Oh, that's weird. Okay. That's not good. Not good. Let's go down here and now we can do a trade. Let's see. Transfer resources from the Pictillo. Did they get any copper? Yeah, they did. Okay. So transfer that please guys. Okay, there we go. We got a little bit more stuff. Anyway, as I said, I'm going to set these guys on a course to Profeo, or at least to the beacon to Profeo, but I have to finish this episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.